Hey guys, it's your boy ready for some FTP action and today I have a list of the best biometric selector characters that do not require their uniform to be good and I mean the I made this video specifically as a follow up video that I did for the energy formula character that does not require any uniform and I thought that it would be really great and it will be really uh, helpful for players uh, new players or even with the, some established player who are thinking who to build next and i thought that this would be a great and a good guide for them to develop their, their roster and if we even if we do, they don't have many crystals because uniforms nowadays are expensive and it's some uh, most of the characters are meta because of their uniform like captain america and another character that are really good but i wanted to make this list just to just so that people can have these characters without spending any crystal and it's really good to have these characters so without further ado you guys i uh, first thing i want to state is that uh, some of the characters in the list that i prepared do require their tier 2 advancement to be better than the others because i made this list mostly on the basis of their tier 1 potential because some characters in this list at tier 2 does become a entirely different and entirely crazy damage dealing characters and also the survivability does bumps up so uh, having said that let's move on to the list first on the i will say start with the 10th number so the on the 10th uh, spot i have scourge or maybe moon knight you can get uh, you can choose any of any of the two characters right here i mean seriously those two characters are i think identical at tier 1 exactly because at tier 2 their potential does change and i have decided to uh, put some characters without their uniform because uh, moon knight does require his uniform to be better but even uh, even with this uniform if you can get him to tier 2 he becomes a really good uh, investment and his uh, passive i don't know what was that i think it was a tier 2 okay it was a tier 2 passive so whenever he his hp is below 30% it will he will recover 30% more hp and this does synergize with the uniform but even if you don't have the uniform this will work and if you can get him to tier 2 he will be a great collection to your roster to clear some low low level stages of shadowland however scourge has the same issue he doesn't have any survivability at tier 1 i mean he does have uh, i mean some damage he has some stun but it is at the end of the skill and third has the guard hit so the guard hit is the only thing he has at, in his tier 1 kit but when you uh, compare when you uh, i mean advance him to tier 2 he does become a really good and really amazing character because the uh, tier 2 whenever you will use at tier 2 whenever you use the uh, fifth skill the last stand he will give a five seconds of invincibility and also a damage and bonus damage increase buff which is crazy i mean it does uh, uh, increase his survivability and his damage his damage was never a problem i mean the damage is not the meta level but he it is decent damage and he does do a lot of damage on his fourth uh, fourth as well as the fifth skill and the fifth skill at tier 2 does give him five seconds of invincibility which is great and you can definitely clear some high level shadow and stages with this and if i uh, consider the tier 2 for scourge i mean seriously he would have already jumped around five or six spot in the list so i'm not talking uh, mainly about the tier 2 skill because tier 2 characters does tier 2 advancement of character does make some characters a really op op in some way so at number 9th i have a shuri for you and i was actually pretty uh, I, I wasn't actually very sure to put Shuri here or not because Shuri has been in the game for quite a long time now and we got him for the uh, after the Black Panther movie was introduced and the uniform does make him make her a lot of lot crazy I mean seriously if you have this uniform this the u immunity on the skill on the fifth skill does become a seven second immun immunity which is great but even without the uniform I would say this uniform I mean the base look is really great and if you can get her to tier two I mean she has all uh, I mean damage buff all speed and all attack buff and also some stun she has uh, I mean iframe she has ignored ignored all she has iframe on his fourth i believe and i think uh, it's also five second in immunity and uh, i think she becomes she transforms her into a black bird that does a tremendous amount of damage even at tier one but if if you get her to tier two guys this is crazy because he 
gives you the colson like buff i know the buff right now as you guys can see the is only 35% damage increase to pavilion types but if you get this uniform i mean if you build up shuri if you even get get her to tier 2 you should definitely get this uniform because the uniform does make the character better but the old other thing that is really important is the tier 2 passive the passive jumps from 35% to 45% damage increase which is same as the colson's buff but i think even at tier 1 shuri does hold his own sword and skill clear some mid level or maybe sometimes a higher level shadow lance stage if you have a tier 2 so moving on to that eight spots it is was kind of a draw between these two characters i think do these two characters are really good and i think the two characters i am going to be talking about is one silk and other is kate bishop and we have kate bishop and silk i think silk silk was the oldest character uh she was along with the, the spider verse when the miles morales and other uh, came i don't know i mean couple of years ago it's been a really long time and kate bishop has been also in the game for quite a long time now but i think kate bishop right now uh with the at tier 1 i think uh, silk has a more of a crowd control advantage over over kate bishop i know kate bishop is an amazing character because she has stun on his fifth skill and it is an i frame stun on his fourth skill which is a i frame at the uh, i mean middle of the skill and to, up to the end and she also has another 3 second of i frame on second of skill which does make it uh, make it make the shadow and clears really great but the thing with the kit is that if you miss any of the stuns if the enemy gets you if the enemy hits you she is really squishy she can die in seconds i mean seriously it won't take more than 5 or 10 seconds if the if the enemy binds you if the enemy gets you for like for the 5 or 6 second you will be dead seriously there is no hiding because i know uh, kit uh, the stuns might feel that she is a ops to pvp character in the game but she is not seriously i mean when she came to the game she was really great but uh, there has been some changes to the game modes ad, as well as shadowlands from the day she came so it does it has become a really tough for k to keep alive and i think if you get her to tier 2 it is really great i mean she does give him give herself a guaranteed dodge rate guaranteed crit rate and crit damage buff which is great and i do have a pve build on him and i got her got this oblix when i was using him here for abx when she was the best for abx and now right now i can definitely do some higher stages of shadow lane as well and she is a fantastic character and i think where skill silk uh, takes a uh, i mean one step ahead of kate bishop is on the webbing seriously guy web is the most powerful pvp thing in the game right now and it it was uh, as well i know a lot of characters a lot of meta characters have passed the web thing because they have uh, stuns they have immunity they have damage accumulation they have i frame they have tremendous bonkers damage but this uh, is still uh, doable and the third skill of silk uh, I mean it's the is the best guard hit in the game eight guard hits for 8 second which is great and she does have an partial i frame on the second she has a 3 second web on the first and the fourth skill is really good i mean the fourth skill with the uniform is amazing but it you can it is also doable and the fifth skill is also an i i mean not an i frame i mean it has some great damage it is the best damage dealing skill on his on her skill set skill set because because without or the uni and she has three i mean 3 plus 3 equals to i mean 6 seconds of web and she has a guard hits also and if you can get her to tier 2 it just gets better and damage is amazing and moving on to the seventh spot guys i think it goes to titania one because she is i mean one of the best biometric formula characters obviously and she has the a lot of things common with sharon rogers like the third skill it has the damage accum accumulation plus it has the 100% damage immunity for 5 second which is great for survivability and she does has some all defense not all defense down i mean straight defense decrease and also some damage on the first skill and the fourth skill does give him give her a super armor and all defense so you don't have to worry about guard broken and the fourth skill does give him 
attack all attack all defense and a all speed buff which is crazy and the fifth skill is not an iframe at the start but when you i mean start she start rotating and when you move i think for one or two seconds it becomes a full iframe and you can definitely kill a lot of enemies and you can definitely put them into stun and she's a definitely great character because she has that villain tag i mean she's a villain she's a super villain she can do a lot of good stages and she can definitely help you uh, up your way to up in the shadowland and when you get his tier 2 i mean seriously this is really great because every time every 30 percent chance 30 uh, percent rate when you are hit you will recover hp the damage you are receiving will be uh nerfed for 10 seconds and the skill damage will increase and the damage is really good and i think she's one of the best character in the game for biometric selector and for the sixth spot guys i was actually gonna i don't know because uh, i've got I've got Minerva here. Seriously, guys. I mean, I know most of the people. I mean, you might, you guys might be thinking Minerva is way better. Why is she on the sixth spot? And there are a lot of bad character than her. Why is why is she on the sixth spot? But the uh, main thing why she is at sixth spot is her her survivability especially without the uniform i mean the uniform does make her amazing seriously there is no doubt she is one of the best characters in the game with the uniform i think she is one of the top and she is also a meta for the combat villain day i use her for the combat villain day combat super villain day and as well as i think the female super villain day as well so she is doing the work for me right now but with this uniform i mean she is really good she can definitely do this do the stuff but the thing is that you have uh, an all attack all speed and crit rate buff that's good and it's i think uh, an iframe as well a short iframe and then you have uh first and second skill which are i i don't think are an iframe and then fourth skill does give you 100 seconds of immunity immunity and it does have stun which helps you but the problem is with the fifth skill because if you don't have max skill to down or even if you have max skill to down, you will uh, sometimes struggle to keep her alive in front of uh, enemies that have a lot of attack or maybe sub defense like world wars ultimate if you are using her or even if a high high level shadowlands where you cannot get the the all the enemy characters in the one area so the fifth skill is not an iframe for the first two or three seconds when she transform into a monster and she hits the ground and then she flies then it becomes an iframe so it does i mean the damage is crazy but the thing is you have to keep alive and that's why she's at the Sixth position and the fifth spot goes to her uh, fellow friend we got from the Captain Marvel's update. Yep, you guys did right. It's Korath and Korath. If you don't know, guys, she, he is the super villain speed meta for ABX as of now. She can definitely score a lot, a lot of points in ABX. I myself am scoring pretty good with the and Korath and Korath is really fun to play. And the um, thing that makes him at the number five spot is the third skill which gives uh, all tech, all speed and crit rate buff and plus 100% chance of immunity to 4 seconds. Yep, and the 4th skill which is an iframe. It's, it's a short iframe but uh, it does, uh, uh, the tornado appears and tornado binds the enemy so you don't have to worry for like 2 or 3 seconds to get hit because the enemy will be binded by the tornado and the 5th skill has stun at the end. I think and the fifth skill even if you don't use the third skill before the fifth skill the fifth skill alone gives you six guard hits again six guard hits for three seconds and which is really good and also she, he has I think it's it says a uh, first skill which is also an iframe it is a short iframe where he slashes and the second skill does have silence as well as some binding effect so she he does have a lot of things to go with him and the skill set overall skill set is really great and he, he doesn't even have a uniform right I mean seriously she, he's really an amazing character and at tier 2 it just gets better and the, and the damage is bonkers and myself I'm gonna use him after Shadowland 30 plus because I just cleared Shadowland up to 30. So at the 4th spot I think the 4th spot will go to Robbie Reyes and Robbie Reyes has been in the game for quite a long time now and he is one of the best free to play characters and one of the best biometric selectors still because fifth skill, his 5th skill is a long ass I film and seriously. It's it um, I mean play the fifth skill plays out for like four or five seconds, which is great. Fourth skill has a bind, has a guard hit, and uh, the third skill does uh, I mean increase all speed your all speed by 25 20 percent, 
and is is also an full iframe yes and the second skill does have some guard breaking effect and the first skill also and honestly guys you won't even have to use the first or second skill or maybe even the fourth skill if you have enough skill cooldown if you have 50 second uh, i mean 50 percent skill cooldown max skill cooldown you can just do five let it play out when the five finishes do three let it play out and you you will definitely have five again to use so you you have you can definitely scroll back five five into three five into three at i mean for the entire duration of duration of fighter you will not get even hit once and seriously and even if you uh, feel like that you're gonna hit and you won't be able to make it into the iframe that just use the four skill man i mean it has a bind and she's he's the her da his damage is a really great and he's a fire damage character so it will be really helpful for people to clear shadowland stages with those anti and uh, i mean agent venom and the carnage stage which requires you to use some of the fire damage characters to does more damage and the tier 2 just gives him a lot of damage buffs and it's really good and i think for the third spot i think goes to mantis and really mantis damage is not as good as robbie race i know because robbie race is a universal character so you can use him for a lot of stages while mantis is a blast so you can only use against combat types or other characters but the thing that makes mantis so great is her fifth skill because it does say that it it has the fear effect for three seconds but the bubble i mean the area around yourself uh stays there for like uh, five or six seconds so it does make mantis a lot of crowd control character and the fourth has the best damage in, uh, dam best damage in skill and it does have a lot of damage and the f uh, third skill will increase your own dodge rate the second is an iframe again and the first skill has some guard break guard break effect so it's really good and the I mean tier 2 passive is also good it gives all allies crit damage and 15% 15% ignore defense which is great and I think at the second spot I think I will go with the Morgan Le Fay yep I mean seriously she is the best I think by far one of the best characters in the game and it was actually the number 3 2 and 1 spot I think uh, both goes to the same character and I think uh, not the same character I mean these three characters are the most best content contenders for the first second and third spot you can build any of them and they will not uh, I mean they will not let you down uh, first one is Sherog second is my girl Morgan Le Fay and then we have where is he where is he the iron hammer and these three are the best characters to farm from biometric selectors seriously guys I was really having a hard time I couldn't actually give the first spot to a specific character I think uh, iron hammer might fall a lot might, might fall a bit lower than these two because Sherog has been the best free to play character in the game for quite a long time since the introduction and Morgan Le Fay has a lot of things going for her and her damage is insane I cleared stage 29 I guess Shadowland yesterday last night with my Morgan Le Fay alone and she does amazing damage. The 5 is a full iframe has amazing damage. The 4th is in 5 seconds of immunity. You can move around while doing the skill. It gives you all attack, all defense and all speed buff. It has all defense down. It has amazing skills. And even if you, I mean, make some, I mean, if you don't play her well, if you die, no problem man you have another life you will be revived with 50 percent of max hp really that's it's great and the i mean seriously and the third skill has mind, mind control and the third skill has a summon a third skill has a guard hit for eight seconds i mean what more do you want and the first skill gives you seven percent recovery of max hp seriously first skill has a stun and it, uh, the orb that she I mean that she throws does uh, bind the character for a certain amount of time I think I think it's two or three seconds I mean this, she's great really and when you get her to tier 3 I mean whenever you do uh, th third skill I mean there is a 30% chance your second skill will be off cooldown seriously it's like the Luna Snow buff and it's really good I think and it also buffs the summon character so it's really great and I think Sherog is one of the best characters in the game as I already mentioned and she's amazing. She has that 3 second, I mean 5 seconds of immunity on his 3rd skill. She has accumulation, she has stun on the 5th skill, she has iframe on the 4th skill, she has amazing damage, she has 
partial iframe on the first skill and also damage she has some good damage and also guard break on the first skill which can really help you and if you can get this girl to tier 2 she will do amazingly seriously guys i i know that the armors the uniforms are really great and does make the character best the best uh, damaging character in the game after luna snow i think around she is around luna snow but she is she cannot push that high but i think she do i have seen i think around 73 or 74 corvus world boss but alone with sherrock i mean seriously this is great and even with the base look she is amazing i mean seriously just get just get her and even if you start the game when the you are given the hero journey selector when you start your hero journey when, if you are a new player if you remember it will suggest you <laughs> sharon rogers as a recommendation i mean seriously she is the best character in the game for me and i think iron hammer is also a great choice because he has lightning damage he is universal so it makes him unique uh, the first uh, the fifth skill has stun fifth skill is a uh, iframe as well the fourth skin does give him four seconds of in immunity it has all defense down it has stun it has fracture and the third skill is good because it gives you five second uh, max hp recovery which is good the second skill i think second skill okay second skill is an iframe i think one or one and a half second iframe first skill other still i mean again an iframe i mean he's the complete package seriously so i could not uh, decide what character i should give the first spot so i just uh, i mean i can just throw you throw it on you guys because every character every other character every i mean both uh, i mean three of these character have a unique skill set and they do require a unique gameplay as well so you can definitely build any of these three character and they won't let you down and i would say if you are new character new player and if you are getting those six star selector or even if you have a uh, mega master ticket or something like that i would say if you are a new player if you don't have biometric use them on one of these character they will not let you down and they are amazing seriously and you should definitely build them so th they were, those were my suggestions and those were my list for the best i mean biometric selector character that do not require their uniform at all to be good in this game you can definitely push higher and higher shadow and stages even with this character and they these 10 characters will give you 10 guaranteed shadowland floor clears i mean eh I mean every week seriously every week and some of the characters are abx meta as well and i used to use uh, morgan le fay on the i think universal female day i guess i think i i still use her i think i don't i don't actually remember i do use her still and she's amazing so let me know what you think about the uh, video let me know what you think about the character my list and you, if you have some suggestion or if there is something that i missed and if you like the content like comment subscribe comment down below and as always i hope to see you again see ya